tattletales. I'm being looked at by Zeldas. Uh, 0188 uh, Air TBA VTR 102774. Take one. <coughs> oh, who is that? today. Nice to see you all. Nice to see you all at home, too. We have a terrific-looking group here today. We always do, but today it's kind of special. I don't know what that is. What is that? What is it? It's just... I've gotten 32 answers from different people saying, well, I hope we have some terrific answers for you because we have three wonderful celebrities up here, couples, that is, who are going to give you the answers and going to win you the money, and here they are right now, on my left. Yeah, hey! Oh, not... <laughs> They do that. I know. I, I say your name and then they go, yeah, hey! But a guy can't depend on them. Oh, I don't know. are you kidding? They're crazy oh, about I'd you. I'd like to hear them. Winning money for the blue suction. Get ready to yeah, hey. Here they are. Charlie Brill and his wife, Missy McCall. Is that a big enough yahay for you? That's a you? nice yahay. Oh, oh, you're terrific. One of the biggest yahays we've had here. Oh, hey, hey, Thank hey. you. Hi, oh, Mitzi. How are you, love? I'm terrific. I know. That's what I've heard. Can't you ready to go? Charlie, but here I'm okay. Here we go. Winning money today for the banana section. Ladies and gentlemen, the stars of emergency, Mr. Bobby Troop and his wife, Julie London. <laughs> Certainly it's nice to have you both with us today. It's good to be here, Bert. You raring to go, Julie? Oh, you bet. You bet. Oh. Your name, just two words from her. I don't know what it is. What is that? She says, oh, sex. you bet. That's what it is, sex. sex. I knew there was a word for it. Here we go, gang. Winning money for the red section today, Mr. Bill Trowbridge and his wife, Rona Barrett. Oh, are they ready today? The red section is raring to go, Rona. You can hear them. Oh, am I raring to go, too? How are you, beautiful Bert? Hey. Oh. Hey. Beautiful Bert. I like the way Bert. you talk, too. <laughs> okay, oh, if you are ready, I certainly am ready. And here comes the first question, worth $150 to your rooting section. This is it. Girls, your husband is going to be stranded on our famous tropical island for a whole year without you. Go, go. <laughs> in instead Who does he get? Now, George wait a C. Scott? Instead, his companion is going to be another man or another woman Now, which would you prefer the poor guy to be stranded with? <laughs> well, there goes my Sundays <laughs> Your husband is going to be stranded on our famous tropical island for a whole year without you Instead, his companion is going to be another man or another woman Which would you prefer the poor guy to be stranded with? Remember that, Bill. Listen to the question carefully. He's listening, and you girls go away and listen to the music, and we're going to get their answers right now. Charlie, what's Mitzi going to say? Who would she like to have you on that island with for a whole year? No, no lady. She wouldn't like to have me with a lady. No lady. No, because I'd forget her in uh, two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> be all over. What yeah, the, and so the man gonna... uh, would have to be a man. If it looked like, if I looked like you, it wouldn't be so bad, Bert. I mean... <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh... <laughs> Now, wait a minute. You know, no. you're not chopped liver. <laughs> In fact, I'll take you over to woman. Now, I mean, wait no, a minute. No, no, don't be silly. Don't be no, I will. And if she wanted me to be with another man, right? Hey. Because, uh, yeah. Want to be on that island for a year, big guy? can pitch a hell of a game, didn't he? Oh, oh. Boy, you said it. Okay. okay. <laughs> you're going to say another guy. Well, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. Here we go, gang, right off the top. All right, let's bring Mitzi on. Now, don't, shh, don't say a word. <laughs> Mitzi, wh who would you prefer that Charlie be stranded with for that whole year out there? Another guy or another it's woman? It's so easy to answer. Another man, of course. That's what he said. <laughs> I'm no dummy. Uh, Are you kidding? I 
mean, Charlie is a, really a ladies' man. He would find something gorgeous in Toadie Fields. Yes. So, uh, no, no, nothing against him. I'm sorry, Toadie. I love you, but... <laughs> okay, you have a share of the pot, Mitzi. I hope Thank so. you very much. Okay. <laughs> Bobby, how about Julie? What's she going to say? Well, un undoubtedly, she's going to say another man, preferably an older man, too. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 Another older man. Okay. Let's bring on Julie and see if she agrees with you, shall we? Julie, who would you yeah. like Bobby to be stuck with uh, for a year on that island? Another man or, an, or another woman? Well, if he's coming back in a year, it better be a guy. <laughs> <laughs> He can't even build a fire by himself. I mean, I mean a real fire. <laughs> we know what you mean, Julie. Thank you very much. You have a share of that pot there. <laughs> Bill, what's Brody going to say? Always said we'd do well when we got to the sex questions. Yes. <laughs> She's going to say another lady. Another lady. Kinky. <laughs> I knew it. You knew it, huh? Yes. Why is she going to say another lady, Bill, do you think? Because she knows how I think. Oh. And, and that would be my preference, you know. Yeah. And she would say, well, okay, Bill, if you're yeah. going to be there for a year, uh, take a lady with you. Mm-hmm. See, my wife would never say that to well, me. Well, she really would. Like She'd well, say, take a gorilla her. or something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going to say another lady. Let's bring her on and find out. Rona, uh, now Bill's going to be stuck on that island for a year. Who would you rather have him with, a man or a woman? I know who I would prefer to have him with. Yes. But what did he say? Yes, there's the question. Right. Uh, I'd rather have him turn gay. I hope he picked a man. <laughs> There's only one other choice. Guess which one it was, right? <laughs> he Turn. obviously did what I said. I said what I didn't know didn't hurt. Yeah, that's right. Turned out the other way, and he'll see you in a year, and then he'll come back with a smile on his face. Let's see. <laughs> Julie and Bobby, Mitzi and Charlie split the pot right down the middle. There it is, and we'll come back. Right after this message for you. Please come back with us. Grace, what's that medicine smell? It's my arthritis rub. <laughs> How are you going to help with the clam bake tonight? You'll smell like a sick room. I know. Why not use my rub? Inforub's not smelly. Is it strong? Yes. Inforub has four strong warming medicines. Strong medicine, but no strong smell. Four odorless medicines that give great warmth. Hours of relief from occasional minor arthritis pain. I see you made it. Inforub. Strong medicine and no strong smell. That's our breakfast. My common sense. Make breakfast count. How? We'll get 10 vitamins and iron. Won't worry about them all day. Really? <laughs> vitamins can be fun. Kellogg's Product 19, the four grain cereal, gives us 100% of the U.S. recommended daily allowance for 10 vitamins and iron. 100%? Try. Mmm. Being smart tastes good. Listen to your common sense. Start breakfast with Product 19. Question number two, coming right up, and here it is. Okay. Ladies, this question is directed to you. It's worth $150 as well. What outfit that your husband wears makes him look sexiest to you? <gasps> Don't say a word. Not a word, you little dickens. What outfit that your husband wears makes him look sexiest to you? All right, ladies, you ready to think about that one? Listen to the music, and we'll come back for your answer in just a second. Charlie, what about Mitzi? What's I'm an animal say? at anything I That's wear. That's true. By golly, I know that. It's between the loincloth and the pajamas. <laughs> well, Tarzan, which one do you think it is? Uh, I would say that it's my chamois outfit because it clings to this Jewish butt. It gets me hot. It makes me crazy. <laughs> so you can imagine her. Oh, oh. Dynamite. Oh, huh? Crazy. Oh, oh, oh. I, I would say that the chamois the sh outfit. The chamois outfit. The chamois outfit. Chamois. The chamois outfit. Yeah, because it's so... Whoosh. Uh. Whoosh. Really something. I got crazy thinking about myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you settle down and we'll I bring am. Mitzi out Thank here and you. see what her answer Thank is. Thank you. Mitzi, what is your answer? What is this, what's the sexiest outfit that he wears? Oh. Uh. 
Can you say a brand name? Um, sure. Jockey shorts. <laughs> That may be, um, that may be what you think is the sexiest outfit, uh, <laughs> With these legs, you want me to wear... <laughs> Who's looking at the legs, Charlie? <laughs> Sit down, Charlie. Uh, you're close, Mitzi, you're very close. I am? <laughs> yes, um, if, he, if he, he, tell him, uh, tell honey, him, Honey, you know Mitzi, how um, you go crazy when I wear my chamois outfit, Mitzi. I thinking about that, Charlie. Maybe, okay. Has he got any chamois shorts? Maybe Lately. that's what he was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, uh, Charlie's pretty sexy. Yes. I mean, I gotta tell you yes. that he's, um, uh, either that or I'm deranged. I don't know what he's <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get that one Me right, too. Mitzi. Bobby, how about Julie? What's what's she gonna say is your sexiest outfit? Well, she's not gonna say jockey shorts. I can't stand those. <laughs> My pantyhose? Has... No, no. I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where this Julie show has is leading. Julie and clothes. Um, uh, she loves turtleneck sweaters. I'll, I'll just take sweaters. a guess and, and say turtleneck sweaters. Turtleneck sweaters, okay? You want to go with turtleneck sweaters? Yeah. That's the sexiest, okay? Is that all right with you, bananas? Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's bring on Julie. Don't say anything. Julie, what is, what is Bobby's sexiest outfit, do you think? Well, uh, I like the bare facts. I, I, like, I like nothing. Right. Um, <laughs> however, uh, you may like nothing. Uh, uh, Bobby, tell Julie what you said. I said turtleneck sweaters. A we have nothing else. That's yes. what you said. Turtleneck sweaters. Or is it still? just George Papard you like in turtleneck sweaters? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about you that. You got it, baby. <laughs> Julie, you didn't get it right. Neither did Mitzi. Nobody has it right yet. Bill, is Rona going to get it right? What's she going to say? Hopefully. She, I like. I hate to wear a tie. I like to be sports sportswear all the time, and she doesn't like that so much. And she loves me in suits, so I'm going to say a suit. A suit? Yeah. Yes. That's why I have a suit on. Is that why you wear it? No. no. She she likes suits. Because she likes it. That seems all right. So that might be sexy. The front I don't row know. She all... likes it. It's sexy. They're praying in the front row. Look at this. Come on, just one. Okay. A suit. A suit. Let's bring on Rona and find out what the answer is. Rona, what is it? Now, what's his sexiest uh, outfit? I must tell you, I don't want to put you under any pressure, but no one has gotten this right. Yet you have a chance to get the whole thing right here. You'd do this to me, wouldn't you? No, no, I wouldn't. You both would. Not for the world. He's got the cutest butt in the world, but he looks... <laughs> he... But? He, but. <laughs> oh, Actually, there's an echo my, in here. Uh, my husband looks sexy to me when he's... Um, dressed up just the way he is right now. Yeah, that's what he said. You're right. In a suit. And you got the whole thing. Let's ring it up on the board for Ronan Bill. There it is. They're in the lead at halftime, fellas. We'll change places, won't we? Gentlemen to the rear. Ladies, come on out here. And while we break away for this message, we will change places and then we're coming right back. Come on back with us, won't you? Rub-a-dub, dolly, soft, pretty dolly, play with her in the bath with you. Taking a bath can be lots of fun, cause two in the bathtub is more fun than one. Rub-a-dub, dolly, rub-a-dub, dolly, rub-a-dub, dolly, I love you. Rub-a-dub, dolly is soft, watertight, and soak-proof. Comes complete as shown by Ideal. Hello. You and I know when it comes to good tasting snacks. Hostess sure knows kids. But did you know that Hostess makes a whole bake shop of fresh products, especially for grown ups? Like Hostess O's, the donuts that give you flavored filling in every bite. Regular donuts, bite sized donuts, all baked with grown ups in mind, although your whole family will enjoy them. And all Hostess fresh. Mmm. You don't have to be a kid to love Hostess. In addition to cash awards, a member of the winning rooting section, chosen at random, will receive a ring featuring a Lindy Star, America's man-made discovery in the world of fine jewelry. The look and the magic of the stars. Choose from 14 fashion colors. And delicious fill-and-eat Ready Crust. Your dessert will seem like it came from the pastry chef. Ready Crust, a special treat. And Stay Puff Fabric Softener, the beauty conditioner for clothes. Softens washables, reduces static cling and wrinkles in today's fabrics. Stay Puff for softer wash days. We'll be back to more Tattletales in just a moment. 
Aspirin's fine for headaches, even for women's discomforts. But these are the days for pamperin, when you can really be thrown off by water buildup. You know the bloat, the weight gain, swelling, puffiness, body aches. Pamperin helps relieve these symptoms because pamperin is made to relieve these symptoms. For temporary water weight gain, aspirin just doesn't work like pamperin. Remember how your mother gave you Cherokol to help take care of your cough? It can do the same for you now that you're all grown up. Cherokol D with the most effective anti-cough ingredient you can buy without a prescription to relieve coughs due to colds quickly, day or night. And with that famous Cherokol cherry flavor. Cherokol D from Upjohn. It worked for you then. It'll work for you now. We have changed places after halftime. We're ready to go with the second half of the show. We have the ladies with me, the fellas in the rear, and the blue section is hysterical. <laughs> I'd like to know what, what's, what's really, why are you laughing? What's so funny? Where are you from? And what, what's your name? And how long have you been in California? And, and, and what do you do, I see? Fine, well, it's been wonderful talking with you. Here we go, moving right along, folks. I don't know what it is. This question is for you fellas, it's worth $150. Here we go, guys. You and your wife are in Paris, and she goes shopping. So you go to an outdoor cafe, and while you're sitting there, a charming young mademoiselle asks if she can join you, as there are no other places to sit. Now, you spend the entire afternoon talking to her. The question is, uh. that night, will you tell your wife about this little tete-a-tete, -tete, or will you... <laughs> Pardon me? <laughs> How do you spell it? I wouldn't have coffee with a girl with little tete-a-tete anyway. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I wouldn't get through. <laughs> will you tell your wife about this little tete-a-tete, -tete, or will you keep it to yourself? That's the question, fellas. You're shopping, in, and your wife's shopping in Paris. You go to a cafe alone. You meet a charming little French girl who spends the entire afternoon talking with you. Oui, 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 will you oui. tell your wife later that night about it, or will you not? Think about it. Gentlemen, we'll come back for your answer in just a moment. Now, a tete-a-tete, -tete, me a, a, a little talk, a friendly visit. Well... If I caught him having a tete-a-tete -tete with a French girl, <laughs> I'd kick her right in the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I have to be honest. Uh, I, Charlie would tell me. He really would. I mean, even if it was more than a tete-a-tete. -tete, if it was a... Yes. A <laughs> Oh, no, he wouldn't tell me oh, if he ever... No, never. never. I don't want to know. Oh, no. If you ever see him out fooling around, don't tell me. I don't want to know. <laughs> uh, yes, and he would, he would say, oh, and, and he would make up some terrific thing like she was an intellectual or, you know, yes. they had something in common. Sure, they had something in common. <laughs> yes, he would tell me. Yes, he would tell you. Yes. Let's bring him on now. Bonsoir, monsieur. Oh, bonsoir, comment allez-vous, oh, monsieur? Bien, monsieur. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Allô, Charlie. Uh, would you tell uh, about this little tete-a-tete, -tete, or would you keep it to yourself, sir? <coughs> I would tell. That's what she said, you're right. Because she would find out anyway, it would be one of those. I, you know. You have a share of the pot, sir. Thank you. Very well done. Julie, what's Bobby going to say? Well, uh, if I found out about that, I'd <coughs> kick him and his Arc de Triomphe. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think he would. He wouldn't tell you? No. Wouldn't mention it? Sneak. Oh. <laughs> Not to be smart. Either. Not to be smart. <laughs> okay. Smart Let's bring on Smarty Pants and see if he is. Bobby, what would you do? Would you, uh, later that night, would you uh, mention to Julie that you'd had this afternoon tete-a-tete uh, -tete or no? Well, I ironically enough, after over 15 years of marriage and seven children between us, uh, Julie's still quite jealous. Yes. And uh, if I were absolutely certain that no one saw me having a tete-a-tete -tete with a lovely French girl, uh, I would not tell Julie. That's what she said. You're absolutely right. To say the least, how terrific. Uh, but just on, just so that nobody knows, really, except you and me, Bobby, uh, has that ever happened? Did you ever? Uh... <laughs> Not last week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, nobody heard 
it, so it's okay. <laughs> in Paris. He was there over the weekend. Rhoda, how about Bill? What's he going to say? Uh, knowing that I have eyes in the back of my head, mm. Mm. he would be wise to tell me. And let us pray that he gives that same answer. <laughs> Do you speak French? No. Oh. <laughs> Let's bring on Bill and find out if he does. Ah, bonsoir, monsieur. Ah, oui. Uh, did you have uh, Did you have that tête-à-tête -tête with the lady? And if you did, would you tell Rona about it later that night? We tell each other everything. Yes. Tell the tale. Everybody, and we shall return in just a moment to find out who's going to win today's title tail event. Come back with us and find out, won't you? See you in a minute. Give a squeeze, give a squeeze. It's easy to squeeze. Creamy squeeze for cake. It's chicken to roast. Her special tongs, squeeze for cake. Okay, to make it's ready to fade. Squeeze parquet. Give a squeeze. Squeeze parquet margarine from Kraft. Affectionately. Here comes Google, the Kraft Peanut is a prize. This is cool peanut spread from Kraft. It not only tastes like peanuts, it comes in flavors. And chocolate, vanilla, banana, and cinnamon. Google spreads creamy smooth, too. And it's delicious on bread or crackers or almost anything. And it doesn't make my mouth stick together. And it doesn't make my mouth stick together. You love Google, the Kraft Peanut is a prize. If you want to be in our studio audience and share the winnings, write for tickets. Enclose a self-addressed stamped envelope and mail to tickets. Tattletales, CBS Television City, 7800 Beverly Boulevard, Los Angeles, California, 90036. This is Florence Henderson using Clean and Shine in the kitchen. And this is Florence Henderson using Clean and Shine in the living room. Wait a minute, Florence, that's a walnut table. How can a product that cleans and shines countertops, appliances, and all these kinds of surfaces polish wood furniture? Nobody knows more about shine than the Johnson Wax people. Their formula for clean and shine gives each surface just what it needs. Looks beautiful? Looks beautiful. Clean and shine. For the kitchen? For the living room? For, for every, every room. room. Your grandmother knew. She knew the way to keep everything soft and fresh was to use rainwater. Today, you can use Rain Barrel, the fabric softener that goes in at the start of your wash, in the wash cycle. And when Rain Barrel goes in, everything comes out rainwater soft, rainwater fresh. Rain Barrel from Johnson for rainwater softness in the wash cycle. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, folks. How you doing, love? You all right? Everything is okay. It's really been wonderful. I'm learning so much from you. It's wonderful. Here we come with our, our next question, which is worth $300, gang. This one is worth double. We have a very close game, and anybody can win on this one. Fellas, it's addressed to you. If you could do it without losing any income... Do what? <laughs> Would you like to spend as much time on vacation as you do working? I'm glad we straightened that out, aren't you? Uh, if you could do it without losing any income, would you like to spend as much time on vacation as you do working? Think about that, gentlemen, and we'll come back shortly. Uh, now, what's Charlie going to say about that? Would he like to spend that much time on vacation? Charlie's life is a vacation. <laughs> Uh, we see, well, now, that's hard for us because what we do is, is, is so much fun. We get to travel, and we were with Julie really? London in Hawaii. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, we were working for... I mean, she was the star, and we were the schleppers that came out in the opening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we were the ones when they went, we want Julie London, get off! Um, <laughs> I know. <You> <laughs> I'm going to talk like Julie London. Yes. Well, actually, I think... Uh, I think Charlie would probably say that he'd like to spend his life on a vacation. He would. More time on a vacation. And would you cry me a river while you're at it? 
Wait, I think the question is, would you like to spend as much time on vacation as you do Definitely. working? Definitely. Anything Definitely. where, like, yes. it's laying with the sun, with thing, doing with the body, that's what he wants. Bring the man on and let's find out. Charlie, would you like Gold to spend as much finger. time... Oh. Would you like to spend... What was... It's the oh, music. Goldfinger. Yeah. Oh. Would you like to spend as much time on uh, vacation as you do working? Yes. <laughs> yeah! You're absolutely right, sir. You have a share of the pot, sir. Thank, Thank you, you, sir. Thank you. Julie, how about Bobby? Would he like to do that? I'm afraid to talk now. <laughs> no, no. Oh, I love the way you talk. Oh. That, was a, that was considered a compliment. Absolutely. Yeah, it was really neat. Didn't come out? Oh, God. <laughs> no. no, it came out fine. Um, yes. He would. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. He'd like to just have a nice time and laze around and enjoy himself. That's right. All right, let's bring him on and find out. Mr. Troop, sir, would you like to spend as much time on vacation as you would working? Ten years ago, unquestionably, I would like to have worked, but uh, I'm getting older now. I really like vacation. That's what the lady said. You're right. Boy, are you guys smart today. Absolutely right. Rona, how about Bill? Would he like to spend as much time working as he does on vacation, do you think? Oh, if he could just keep all the money coming in, you better believe it. He would rather be working. No, oh. on a vacation, honey. As working uh, as much time as he does working. That's right. That's oh, right. definitely. You definitely. say without losing any money. I did say that, didn't that I? Right? I said if you could do it without that's losing any income. That's it. You're right. That's I forgot that part that of it. You forgot the half of it. Yeah, okay. That it's a vacation time for him. Let's bring him if on. If he doesn't... Shh, 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 shh. Bill. Yes. If you could do it without losing any income, would you like to spend as much time on vacation as you do working? We would never be that lucky, but the answer would be yes. That's what she said. You're right. Hey, gang, you're all right. Everybody gets that. We split the $300 three ways. Not bad. That signal means our time is up. The winners, Rona and Bill, with $300 for the red section. You're the big winners. We'll come back and find out how much they won right after this message for you. Come on back to the show. Nothing could be finer than to be in Carolina in the morning. What's a girl from the land of sunshine doing in the historical South? Reminding you that 100% orange juice from Florida belongs wherever breakfast is something special. Delicious. And orange juice has valuable B vitamins and minerals, as well as natural vitamin C. So wherever you live, remember, if you can't come to the Florida sunshine tree, let it come to you. Today, we're here to test the Instant Quaker Oatmeal, a brand new uh, flavor called Cinnamon and Spice. Now, open your packages, and uh, the mothers will pour the hot water for you. Okay, kids, what we want to do is get your honest opinion. It's good. Sweet. Cinnamon. I like it a lot. I like it about as much as cold cereal. Those of you who like the cereal, raise your hand. 75% liked new Cinnamon and Spice Oatmeal. The more they eat, the better you feel. Back in time. <laughs> the big winners today, ladies and gentlemen, Rona Barrett and her husband Bill Trowbridge with $300. We had $1,000. The red section will have $1,300 for themselves. We thank you all for being absolutely wonderful today. It's been wonderful visiting with you. And I hope you'll come back and see us again. And I sincerely hope you will all come back and see us again on Saturday. Bye, everybody. This is Jack Clark speaking for Tattletail, a Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production.